They told me boys don't cry or play with Barbies So my whole life I've tried my hardest To be the man that they wanted me to be Prompts, celebrity, fake relationship, love Content warning, age gap, angst with a happy ending Day 1, Fake It Till You Make It Part 2 it was Iwaizumi, flowers and box of milk bread in hand, smiling apologetically at him. He rolled his eyes and stepped back to let the other in. When Iwaizumi was seated, Oikawa got a cup of tea for them both. He placed a cup on the table and sat across Iwaizumi. Sorry about the scandal. It's fine, Toru. We both made a mistake. So we both agreed to end this and continue with our lives? That would only prove the rumors true. Well, you can't keep on turning down people you actually like just because you're with me. Oikawa, that's not true. You know this. I have nobody I like. As of the moment. Well, maybe I do. See? You can go chase after her when we break up. Well, maybe I don't want to. Can you stop copying my lines and stop being stubborn? Can you stop being stubborn and listen to what I'm saying? Oikawa huffed and crossed his arms. Fine, we won't break up. Just tell me when you want out so I can tell my manager. Hmm. Iwaizumi looked at his watch and finished his tea in one sip. It's late. You might want to start your skincare, Toru. Ugh, let me be. And go home, Iwa. Can't I stay over? It's late. Fine, the guest room's always ready anyway. I'll, I'll retire first. Hmm, I'll go in as well. They both said goodnight and got in their rooms. Oikawa inhaled a deep breath, trying to shake off the lump he feels in his throat and on his heart. He walked to his bed and settled in, curling up on his side, trying to push away Iwaizumi's admittance to having someone he likes. A sob rocked his body and he pulled the covers over his head to minimize the sounds. It was dumb of him to actually hold on to this fake relationship to receive Iwaizumi's attention and affections. It was good while it lasted, it was good while it lasted, it was so good while it lasted. A knock sounded and Oikawa knew he was busted, because of course Iwaizumi would know he was crying. Doru, can I come in? Oikawa didn't reply. If he didn't, maybe Iwaizumi would spare him the talk that was way off the mark of why he was crying. Iwaizumi would talk about his career, Oikawa would take it and act like he was right. Because that's what Okawa is good at, acting. I'm coming in, okay? The door opened and closed, footsteps neared Okawa's bed and then the bed dipped. Air invaded Okawa's space and Iwaizumi settled in behind him. I'm sorry. Okawa nodded, an arm slid around his waist and pulled him closer. I was just so fed up. Tears pricked Okawa's eyes, he nodded in response and bit down the sob that threatened to spill. It's tiring, isn't it? To keep acting like this. We don't even like each other. That wasn't true. Oikawa wanted to reply but just nodded. It's so tiring to pretend he wasn't in love with the man behind him. Toru, aren't you tired of lying? Another nod, another sob pushed down. I just wanted to tell you I love you. As friends. I love you too. I admire you so much, honestly. Sorry you had to pretend you like me, Waizumi-san. Oikawa wiped his tears away and breathed up his nose, snot sounding. I'm really sorry. It's fine now, Iwaizumi-san. You can go back now. Toru, why are you so stubborn? Dab a bit. This time, Toru didn't hold back his sob. I really just said dab habits. I'm sorry, Iwaizumi-san. I'm such a mess. Iwaizumi patted his hip twice before sitting up. He reached for the tissue box and pulled Oikawa to sit up and glow. It's fine. Come on. Blow your nose and then we'll continue talking. Tears flowed even more. Oikawa didn't think Iwaizumi would be this caring. It was unfair. It's so unfair how you're acting like this. You shouldn't be this caring to somebody who isn't your lover. But you are. We're only fake dating. I'm not... I'm not... Oikawa sobbed even more and Iwaizumi wrapped his arms around the younger. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for teasing you. For real now, I love you, Doru. No, you don't. Shh. 
gosh, I swear I do. I'm sorry, you look so cute trying to hold back your sobs. <laughs> you're, you're the worst. Oikawa hit his shoulder repeatedly. Even if he was teasing, Iwaizumi took it too far with his jokes. Stop it with the jokes already. If you're just going to make fun of me, then stop. I'm so tired. Iwaizumi Zen, just stop, please. Oikawa tried pushing Iwaizumi away, but the older man had an iron grip on his wrist. Duru, I love you. I told you, Iwaizumi san, stop joking. It's not funny. Iwaizumi just sighed and pulled Oikawa to him. The brunette fell forward with a yelp. Duru, I'm serious. If you would listen to my heartbeat, you'd know how fast it's beating right now. It's not, it always beats this fast whenever I hear it. Because I love you. I've always had. As if I'd believe you. Even then, it wouldn't explain what you said in the video. Iwaizumi sighed into Oikawa's hair and wrapped his arms around Oikawa's shoulders, a hand resting on top of Oikawa's head. I asked the management if I could ask you out. They didn't want it, so they told me no. Weeks later, they told me I needed to pretend to be your lover, but I can't have sex with you. I wouldn't be this careful with just touching you if I wasn't under observation. That made more or less sense. Iwaizumi meant orders not to touch him intimately. He didn't mean the orders to be his pretend boyfriend. But that would mean... You love me? I've been repeating that, haven't I? Yes, Duru. I love you. I always did. And Iwaizumi week officially starts!